everyone, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Tri. We've got quite a bit of reading to do. Let's start with the, um, cat. Meow, 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 meow! Welcome back, boss. Must say that the earthquake left me quite shaken, if you'll pardon the frightfully witty pun. Nyah. But now that you are here to protect us, I have no doubt you will find and stop the source of meow's ills. Yeah. Oh yes, while you're away, that sweetheart from the guild pawed a visit. It would seem the guild has recognized your great deeds and here upon you make use of a symbol color. While in the item box, change appearance, then choose the color you most prefer. The armor on your person will instantly and miraculously change to reflect that symbol color. Isn't it? Isn't that keen? Meow. Meow or meow? Old TV. You will no doubt become more stylish. Uh, I hope you hope your good looks won't go to your head. Remember your duty. Meow. And this is basically the cat that does your furnishing and such. So, why, why don't I do that? Um, change symbol color. Why is there three things here? Okay. So, I like blue, so I'm sticking with symbol color blue. Uh, who should we talk to first? Apparently she doesn't have something to say. Oh, uh, why don't we talk to her? Hey, uh, good to see you. Guess what I just got in? Tons of new melee weapons. Swoosh, slash, galoop. Imagine all the carnage you'll cause with them. For real. They're a cut above the old stuff. Boo. Plus, they're... Pick up and slay. No customizing necessary to make them mighty. I've always loaded up... Durable. I've also loaded up durable armor. Hope your wallet's full because it's a time to empty it out. Um. Well, why don't we check out these weapons? Oh, uh, that's a pretty high up one. And there's that one. Forget what thing that was on. There's the basic two. That's the advanced one. And that's the eh one. I'm good for weapon right now, as you can see, with this giant thing that keeps swishing back and forth as I run. Let's talk to Junior. Another earthquake, and just when you rid us of the Logia Chris, you know I'm starting to think the Logia Chris was never responsible for the quakes. But as far as what is responsible, I got nothing. I know one thing, though. We don't. If we don't do something soon, our village is going to break off into the sea. The last quake was even worse than the ones that came before. Yet nothing was destroyed in this one. It's almost like something big grabbed the village and shook it. And by big, I mean way bigger than a log, Icarus. Ah, that's crazy talk. Forget I brought it up. No matter what's, what's behind the quakes, we're going to protect Moga. You'll be the first to know if I learn something, uh, tangible. So, yeah, as you can see, Rathians. Ooh, that'd be a great day for a free hunt. Um, so yeah, this is what this, That was Junior's one cent, now his two cents. Hey there, I've got something more big bug business news for you. You love making money, sure, we all do. Now those insects we raised on the farm just got a little more lucrative. Nostalgic city folk are starting to buy insects at nice prices. I tell ya, city slickers are into some wacky stuff. Anyway, the demand for insects is through the roof. We have to improve our insect box as soon as possible. I've made a list of everything we need. You're busy and all, but try thinking out... Thinking inside the insect box for once. Haha. <laughs> Another villager report. Um, if I had more resource points, I could do this right now. <coughs> oh, the humanity. 
another person what? shop. Oh my, things have gotten grim, even when y with you around. Times like this, it's extra important to work hard and not look back, right? With that in mind, I present you with the Pack Rat Guide. It's from the same series as the Organizer Guide from way back. Offers advice on how to use your item box. Honestly, I think this book could change your life. I read it, and look at me, see? Er, well, starting over. How may I help you? Uh, that's another um, upgrade to the item box to make it bigger. So I am going to buy that later. But I'm not so strapped for cash. Actually, no, wait. Um, no, that's only stuff on you. I do have a lot of those steel eggs, which are worth a thousand Z each. Uh, that you get from the uh, fishing group. So I'll sell those. Uh, where are they? Steel eggs. Did I sell them already? I think I might have sold them already. Oh, I'll get that later. It's not terribly important right now. Like, I've got another file that's, like, completely full. And I haven't even used three of the eight slots I get from it. I think it was. So let's talk to the village chief. Ooh. Everyone, calm down. Get ahead of... Get a hold of yourself. Be honest with me, kid. When you were hunting the Logucus, did it escape? Are you sure you finished the job? Hmm. You say you took it out? Alright, I believe you, but then... What in blazes is causing these earthquakes? Guess I can't blame it on that Logucus, can I? That last quake was... Severe, to say the least. Another run like that, and we might wind up sleeping with the fishes. <coughs> well, for <coughs> one, I won't sit here and wait to be put into my watery grave. It's never too late. Until it is. Which it's not. I'll have the boys of the hunting fleet get to the bottom of this right away. You stand by, kid. We... <clears throat> may need your hunter skills when the time comes, which it hasn't, but it might, so there. <coughs> oh, dear God. Let's talk to the chef. Ooh la la, it seems Moga Village proverbial milk is about to spoil. We are doomed, nya? May no. In hard times such as these, the culinary gifted have a duty, and that is to... Provide comfort food. It, I must act swiftly. Break out my best ingredients to the sweet. And meowize the effects of my cuisine. Prepare to dine, good hunter. My dishes are about to meow one step closer to perfection. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I hate the cats. Oh, it's not that I hate the cats. It's just reading it out loud is kind of difficult. What, but, but what? Another earthquake? But how could... I mean, wasn't it... Didn't you take out the log, Eucharist? This is... Arg. Okay. Must. Calm. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Freak out! Okay, I'm okay now. Not worrying about it, thanks to you. My heart rate is back in normal human ranges. So let's talk shop. Since you wowed the guild again, they've given you clearance for a new hunting ground. This one ought to get you fired up. The volcano! Thing is, I've got some unrelated but bad news, too. Listen close, okay? The other day, the guild issued an evacuation order for the entire village. And that includes you and me. Can you believe it? Right. Now we have some leeway, but if I tell them about the last earthquake, they'll stop giving out quests for sure. I was I want everyone to be safe, but isn't evacuating the same as condemning the village? Shouldn't we at least find out what's causing the earthquakes? I'm feeling all conflicted, or maybe I'm just hungry. Here's some job requests. So, the volcano. Uh, you are always, always, always going to want to bring a m at least five mega pickaxes, if not, you know, ten of the two lesser ones to the volcano. There are lots of ore spots, and you can get some really nice things. So we've got, you know, some basic things, a seven Uraktor, 
deliver two powder stones. Those are like uh, the herbivore eggs, except they hurt. Uh, capture the Logicris and a Tundra Harvest Tour. So yeah, that's, I think, everyone we need to speak to. I'm going to go check out the farm. Still completely boring. <clears throat> Alright, so, in this episode, uh, we are going to... go after... a crazy, crazy monster. And we're going to need lots and lots of antidotes. Because this monster literally breathes poison. So, antidote herb, blue mushroom. Move items. Where's the antidote? There. Antidote. Um, <coughs> I'm also bringing along my antidote horn. I think I showed that how to make that a while ago. Um, so the good thing about horns is that, uh, there is a chance they won't break. And there's a chance when you use it that, um, it will break or it won't break. If it doesn't break, you can use it again. If it does break, you can't. Uh, there's four types of horns, five technically, that you're going to want to care about. Um, that's the, the health horn, the antidote horn, the, um, demon horn, and the armor horn. Um, two of which aren't used, ma aren't made using the, uh, hunter's horn. So, yeah. I'm going to get, uh, a meal. Ah, uh, so now we get the dragon head and all the stuff. I'm going to go with dragon head and rice. Uh, courage. Uh, firewalker will be useful for the volcano because there's lava, and even if you have a cold drink, um, it'll burn you. Uh... Super Carver, Oracle Slugger, Dung Master, Slugger, Slider, Climber, Strong Cat, Firewalker, Combinator, Frady Cat. Uh, I'm going to go for the Frady Cat again. And let's. Okay. <coughs> so. You know, the thing about the Giganox is, uh, like I said, breathes poison. <coughs> You're going to want tons of antidotes. And you really don't want to get very close to this dang thing. Which kind of sucks because I'm a melee class. So, uh, so, why don't we read this? Look, I ain't no green trainee, but I've been around, but I ain't never seen nothing like that. Entered this cave for a second later. This thing is covering me. It's getting. I'm getting too old for this. So. Uh, subquest is slay 10 gi, and subquest B is destroy 5 giganox eggs. So this thing is basically, literally, um, the mother of Gigi. <laughs> no, literally, the uh, giganox eggs, uh, it spawns Giggies. Um, great thing to get those perception things, though. So yeah, this this thing is this thing is no rookie hunter thing you get. This is this is, this is serious. Grab all the supplies. Even gave me some antidotes, but I brought my own. So grab the hot drink. And it has an introduction at four. Which is a dark area. I should have got the torch. Um, so now you'll sort of see why I bring smoke bombs. No word of a joke. I have used this to see in areas such as four. I I'm not. I'm not joking. That is what I use smoke bombs for. Yeah, that's the uh, Giganox. Putting out the fire. Or warming up by it, either or. 
And that's a Giganox egg. As you can see. Literally the mother of Giggies. Also, this thing has uh, two fronts, as far as I can tell. Also can scream, so doing this is not advisable. Not in the slightest. Do as I say, not as I do. So yeah, um, pretty sure most of it is pretty soft, so you shouldn't have a problem with hitting. And that's that's the main problem is that happening. Also, whenever it's sort of moving, it's most likely going to. Oh darn it! Most likely going to I unsheath my weapon. I have no idea what's going on. Oh darn it! Uh, this is the point where oh jeez, this is going to be the end of me. Max potion, antidote, quickly. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the smoke bomb out here now. See, it sort of gives a whitewash effect to the entire area. Also, it can uh, pin to the um, ceiling, just so you know. It gives a sort of whitewash effect, so it's actually easier to see. God damn it. Uh, it will spend most of its time in a dark area. And going to be very hard to see, so you're rather going to want to turn your brightness up. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my ass kicked. You want to rather turn your brightness up or uh yeah, just do that or bring a torch and sort of shield. Oh, Jesus not going well. So yeah, uh, staying near the light would help. Uh, if it comes down on the ground and it's like right on top of you sometimes, or no, when it's sort of like dangling its mouth from the ceiling, also go on, go on the walls. Um, is trying to get you into a sort of block, like the um, Rathian did. Um, if it does that, uh, it'll do a lot, a lot of damage. And you'll be trapped, so you'll have to, like, shake the Wii Remote uh, very fast to sort of get its... or tap A repeatedly to get it off. And it'll still do a whole lot of damage. Um... It's also, you could use Dung Bombs in such a situation. Um, Jesus, can't see anything. And it plays eggs. Hello. So most of its attacks will poison you. And uh, you will run out of a lot of healing items. Seriously, I probably should have grinded for a lot more potions. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick near the light. Yeah, I think that's that's the move. If you get hit by that, you'll be uh, sucked up. Um. Yeah, this is definitely the move. You do not want to get hit by that. It's a very tough monster. This is sort of, sort of the thing that you'd uh, send your full arsenal out with. Yeah, this is um, this is the kind of thing you'd only want to fight on multiplayer. 
and that's if you're with a whole bunch of experienced players. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's a um, poison sack. It's different than an egg. It'll just explode into a cloud of poison. Huh, I bounced off. The Funkin'. Yeah, so I think the weak spot is, in fact, its um, stomach, which is going to be fairly difficult to hit since it's always straight up. And then the light goes out. I think it, when it does that, it's heading to seven, which is a light area it actually uses. Oh, god damn. Or, no, wait, that's not seven. Uh, it doesn't go to two, I know that for sure. At least I thought I, di thought I didn't. But for sure it never went out in sunlight. This isn't right. So yeah, the horns are uh, better for a uh, multiplayer. So, yeah, so every time it does that for one weird reason or another. Uh oh damn, that goes completely through my shield. It does damage. It really does not make sense. It's not like it's sharp or has spikes on it. Like every time it just moves forward. Like most other creatures when they do that, even though they probably would be more eligible for such a thing, don't. It's really kind of an odd creature. It's scary, especially since it stays mostly in the dark. Like, this is one of the legit things that would scare me. I think Great Jaggy, and it's just Dinosaur. Not much to be scared of. Loggy Chris, and it's just, you know, electricity making Leviathan. Nothing much to be scared of. This thing, holy shit. Also, it apparently can fly. <laughs> So these are the Giganon's eggs, apparently completed subquest B and then subquest A. Now if I was a jerk, I could just end via subquest right now and be done with this. But um there is actually something I really want from this monster. Uh, it's a fairly rare thing to get, all things considered. To smoke bomb. These are really helpful when it's on the ground, but right now it's not. Now it is. Uh, that's a poison sack. Get away from that. It's also apparently Baharna Brocky. Oh darn! Yeah, it does sort of glow purple. Use that to your advantage. Now I need another hot drink. Ow! Pain. All the pain. Oh yeah, and uh, try and use like flash bombs or anything that's related on sight. It doesn't have any eyes, I don't think, technically. Case. Wanted to try that. Yeah, it's a few just sight based effects, and usually, um. It, like, um. Uh, how do I explain this? It's, uh. has, like, heat vision. So. 
it senses heat. Uh, so, like, anything based on, like, destroying its site will not work. Will other monsters. Ow, oh, jeez. Uh, he's impossible in the dark. Jump! Like, all you can see is the front of his little purple eye. All you can tell where you're going with is from the map. Oh, he's on the ceiling. Yeah, that's really annoying. Uh, if you had a bow gun, you'd shoot him while he was on the ceiling, but as you can see, I don't. Also, if you had a torch, you could light these things. Okay, so, enough whining. Time to actually damage the damn thing. Uh, laid an egg. Although, going back for the um, sub A and B supplies would not be a terrible idea. Oh my. Yeah, you probably can't see anything. Fortunately, there, other than the torch, there's very little way of lighting anything up. This, this is one of those monsters where it's just you sort of have to concentrate. And I still would only really recommend doing this thing if you're on multiplayer. Like, this is not something you do regularly or for fun. Oh my. Running out of potions, too. Time to use a wet fish. Don't you dare, Baharnabra. I swear to God. Yeah, so now he's in seven. It's time to do the most damage since you can actually put Oh, is that here? No, that wasn't the sparkly. Ah, darn it. On. I want to see that's what that sparkly is. We're over here. Do it. <clears throat> so yeah, those eggs will spawn giggies. Not much good things come from them. Actually, nothing good comes from them. So, I'll dodge out of the way of this attack. Dodge. And then he like Oh god damn it Maggie This is not good. This is not good at all. Yeah, you'll only ever fight this thing in uh the tundra. So there's no place of fighting no chance of fighting this guy in a place that doesn't have so many dark areas. That's not what I wanted to do. I do believe it's not interrupting attack, so you could technically go through it with a charge. There's no way. Yeah, it knocks you down. Oh, jeez. Just get down. There's a whole bunch of giggies coming after me. Getting out of here. Charging right back in. Oh, here's an excellent spot to be doing some damage. Something came off there. I know that could happen. But I want it. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. Sparkly. Wyvern here. Huh. Too bad that wasn't a subquest. 
<coughs> oh dear. Oh dear God. Let's come down. No baggy, no. Bad. Oh jeez. Too bad it can't poison the other minions. And yeah. If that's not scary enough to prove how scary this monster is, I don't know what will scare you. Climbing on the friggin' ceiling. And jumping straight up to it as well. No, don't go back to four. Uh. So this this monster you'll have to fight a lot if you want to get the only poison attributed weapon in the game. And by the only, I mean the only because there's, like, more than one, but they all pretty much stem from it. They're just different types of weapons. Alright, we got that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it yells from both ends, so... Be that a joke or not. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. Oh, God. Smoke bomb. Oh, crap. I'm going to use another max potion. Probably should have been using my armor skins and demon drugs. Oh my. Oh, made him stagger. Hit him. Hit him hard. Uh, jump. Dodge. Oh yeah. See that? Did a flip. Looks awesome on the map. I could just get a little more zoomed in and things are just a little bit smaller. Ah, oh, darn it. Eat that move. Reasons of it goes through the goddamn shield. Electricity didn't go through the goddamn shield when we fought the Logia, Chris. How come that does? Anyways, I'm gonna destroy these eggs for reasons of I don't want Giggy screwing me up. Oh, darn. This is a really annoying monster just because of the poison, let alone its incredibly vicious attack cycle. Chill, chill, chill! Oh dear god. Here's beyond the ceiling again. Like, seriously, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing. I cannot get a single lock on. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, that attack wouldn't be so bad with the sword and shields. But since I am using the lance, it is kind of devastating. Because I have to. Oh, god damn. Okay, why can't I move? Why can't I move? Dear God. Barcaster, go! Oh God. Alright, so I'm taking all these supplies. Grabbing those antidotes. <sighs> this is one really tough fight. I don't know why I have one Trank Bomb on me. Uh, drug, hot drink. 
This this may take a while. I may not even complete this. Like if it gets down to five minutes, I'm literally just running back and ending the sub quest if I can't complete this. <clears throat> I'm also out of smoke bombs. Which is a problem. I'm gonna try flash bomb just because I have them. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. I should also sharpen. Um, putting a trap down would be a good idea. Yeah, it, it doesn't help. Lights up the room for just like a split second, but... Ow! What the hell? That is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's very hard to see, which makes controls very difficult. Oh, please be moving to someplace brighter. Good. I think, uh... Technically, it would be a she is going to seven. In which case, kill all the baggies. That was one hit. Oh, no, going to three. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read this one. Um, I don't think for this mission there's Malinxes there, so a Felvine Bomb isn't useful. I'm pretty sure that search spot is, in fact, just bones. So, yeah, uh, another bright spot would be a great chance to do some damage. Since I can actually, you know, see the damn thing. Doesn't that get annoying, huh? Yeah, that poison sprout. Oh, dear God, no. Oh, no, it's just hatching an egg. Poison sprout goes on for a long time. No, no, no! Oh, God. Go, ouch! It's like vicious. It doesn't let go or let up. Uh, I think using the immunizer in this sort of fight would be a good idea. See, look at that. I just start charging it all. It's like, oh, I'll just go this way. Bugger. Oh, pain. Ancient potion time. Literally taking out all the stops here. This is one very hard boss fight. For any weapon. Oh, come on. How'd that hit me? the hell happened to its eyes? Why am I disarmed? Why am I armed now? Uh, I hate this boss. Like, literally, this is the thing you specifically go online to fight. <clears throat> it's like, Rathian, Loggy, Chris, you know, whatever. I'll fight it on single player. Giganox, oh damn man, I'm getting on that multiplayer. Surprisingly enough, there is still servers for it. Even this lo oh, now it's going to five. I should probably go get that torch. 
going to get that torch. <coughs> uh, you definitely want to light up as much as you can. Because, um... It's dark in there. But I'm pretty sure uh, this is its last legs. <coughs> or I could be completely mistaken and I'm not going to complete this mission at all. Torch. And might as well take a nap. I'm here. After this, we get to go to the hot place. So, let's just run over to five. And... I'm hoping I'm actually able to defeat this thing. Because I'm not even sure if I can. That's why I went for, um, Freddy Cat's thing on, uh... Uh, where's the torch? So, light up everything you can. Everything. It's already spotted me. Oh, jeez. It's on the ceiling, of course. Run, 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 run! Yeah, so... This, this is the Giganox. May Lord have mercy on your soul if you attempt it. Oh, my. So yeah, even if you, like, turn all these on, it's really not that bright. You literally have to just fight by one. Let's see? Center is still dark as... humanity's greatest interests. Ah, darn it. And I'm all out of antidotes. But not the ow pain. If I ever get a chance to use it. Also, I think the uh, little bubble effect is pretty good. And of course, it breaks as soon as I use it. Of course. Got staggered. And now jumps and dies. Or I died. Of course you use that bullshit move. And I'm a lot of max potions. Ah oh god, Giggy's on me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm just gonna run to seven, consume all my max potions. Mega potions. Well, that was quick. Oh, I have some first aid meds. Those aren't going to last very long. So and these lights will go out. Very quickly. Of course that happens. It does a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Oh, he's coming down on top of me. She technically. What really gets annoying is the, the jumping away thing. No, no, no. Ah. Uh. Ow! How'd that hurt me? Nowhere near that. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Under seven again. Oh, this is going terrible. The sad part is the safest part still has baggies. God damn it, baggy. I'm literally going to be out of potions very soon. Oh my, this is going terrible. So, I'm going to play dirty. Of course it wears off right now. It just left, didn't it? Motherfucker. You little... Of course that would happen. Ugh. Bitch, hard to fight and just a bitch in general. What is up with its eyes? Oh, jeez, I should get away from that. No! Oh, God, no, no, no! Attack, and I'm going to be dead. Well, that's a poof attack. Yeah, I'm not going to survive this. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's out of all my healing items. So, plan A, run back to the camp. There is no plan B. I might not even make it to the camp. That's how bad poison can get. Oh my. Oh good, it wore off. So, yeah, I may just have to end this VX subquest. I'm only going to go in there with another full health bar. And if that does not work, if I have to run back or if I die, I have to end via subquest. I am so sorry. Uh, it's just one really cheap and one really hard monster. This, this is the one where you, like, you bring... You know, stuff to put it to sleep, stuff to trap it, stuff to make more traps, bombs, stuff to make more bombs. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I was smart, I would have packed some bombs and some more traps. So, let's hope it stays at the 7 for at least a little longer. Out of hot drinks, too, which is bad. <sighs> if you ever play this game, you will know my torment. That move is just, ugh, so annoying. Oh, no, no, no! God damn it, Baggy! I will kill you first! Oh dear god, shield, shield, shield! Aye. 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 Stop yelling! Man, I wish I had earplugs. The skill. Not like actual earplugs. Going back to five. The thing is, I've got some red that I can recover up to. Oh, please get into the shock trap. Oh, 
there's 10 minutes left. I may not be able to do this. Come on, get into the shock trap. You're kidding me! I'm like, right next to it. Yes! Okay, whale on time! Okay, that didn't go as well as I planned. Oh, jeez, God, no! Yeah, here, a Dun Bomb would be very helpful. Also, he always, always, always poisons you after this. Um, disregard that last statement. Get, get up, get up, dude. Move. Which way am I even facing? Uh, this is what happens in dark areas. It's just like, what the hell am I doing right now? Oh, perfect. Die, die, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, come on, wail on him. Show him who's boss, boss. Uh, this is, this is what really kills your mellow when you're wailing on it. Jumping up all of a sudden. Oh, that was the first one I almost got poisoned. Again. Uh, stop yelling. I've got more to yell about than you. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill this thing. I may just die in the process. Where are you going? Oh god, this attack. I literally cannot see a thing. I can barely see the top of my shield. Oh dear god, no! Alright, uh... The unfortunate fact is that I'm going to have to run back to the camp and end via subquest. I tried, I failed. Miserably, I might add. I may come back again and try this again with some more firepower, but it does not seem likely. So I'm going to end via subquest, get those rewards. And, uh, yeah, but, ah, oh, really something I wanted to get from this thing. <sighs> Maybe next time I'll actually use my armor skin demon drug. Um, problem is all the resources that go into those potions. Ugh, all of them wasted. Yeah, so the envious subquest is only 10 seconds. 10, 20, 30 in one minute. Oh, damn, I got it! Okay, so this is a pale extract. Basically, combine this with an armor skin or a demon drug, and you'll get a mega armor skin and a mega demon drug. Combine those with a medium uh, monster bone, and you get the horn version. Oh, we got a jewel, bone husk, small monster bone, and ten giggy stingers. Awesome. Okay. 
So uh, next time we will not fight that, but I shall have my grudge match. When I come back with better armor, better weapons, better bombs, better traps, better everything. Better everything. So this is VVVB18 signing off.